एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनादर एडिशन ऑफ जे आर के सी एन लीगल बाइक आई एम डॉक्टर श्रुति नाटकर्णी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन जे आर कार्य कॉलेज ऑफ लॉ मारगांव गोवा फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल विल एग्री विथ मी दैट आर वर्ल्ड इज कनेक्टेड एंड कंट्रोल्ड बाय टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंटरनेट इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ अर डेली लाइफ एज स्टीफन हॉकिंग राइटली सेट दैट वी आर ऑल कनेक्टेड विथ इंटरनेट लाइक न्यूरोन्स इन जॉइंट ब्रेन सो थिंक ऑफ अ सिचुएशन दैट इफ वी आर डिप्राइव ऑफ दिस इंटरनेट सर्विस बाय द गवर्नमेंट कैन वी से दैट इट इज वायोलेशन ऑफ अर फंडामेंटल राइट्स दिस वॉज एक्जैक्टली द क्वेश्चन बिफोर सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द केस दैट वी आर गोट टू डिस्कस टूडे अनुराधा भसीन वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया विच वॉज डिसाइडेड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन दिस केस Ms Anuradha Basin filed a writ petition under article 32 of constitution to set aside all the orders passed by the government whereby internet services mobile services and fixed telecommunication services were shut down or suspended in various localities in Jammu and Kashmir she pleaded that this internet service is important because it is part of freedom of speech and expression and also it is vital to practice profession for various media personnel which she was also one of them the supreme court held in this case that freedom of speech and expression includes right to disseminate information to as wide a population as possible the wider range of circulation of information and the greater impact that it has because of use of internet and other mediums like this cannot be a reason or a ground to restrict this right or to deny this right supreme court by citing various earlier decisions of its like indian express versus union of india odissi communications private limited versus lok vidyan sangathna and so on reiterated its earlier stand that free speech includes freedom of speech and expression by use of different mediums including internet and that is why it is an integral part of article 19 1a of the constitution and any restrictions on this must conform to the restrictions provided under article 19 clause 2 of the constitution article 19 clause 2 imposes restrictions on eight grounds which includes sovereignty and integrity of india security of state friendly relations with foreign countries public order decency and morality contempt of court defamation and incitement to an offence in addition to freedom of speech and expression court also recognized that freedom to carry on trade business or occupation or practice any profession by using internet as a medium is also protected under article 19 1g of the constitution of india but this right is also subject to reasonable restrictions under article 19 clause 6 which state can impose by making various laws relating to qualifications for practicing uh, certain professions or for complete or partial monopoly over certain business thus in this case supreme court recognized that freedom of speech and expression and freedom to carry out trade business or occupation by use of internet enjoys constitutional protection under article 19 1a and 19 1g however there could be restrictions imposed on these rights by the state only in accordance with the grounds provided under article 19 clause 2 and 19 clause 6 respectively and nothing else thank you